Today, we will work on some trade recaps and what is really happening with Bitcoin. I know some of you have an extreme amount of potential, but wasting all your life with unclear setups. I'll help you today make much better decisions with your trading life. We will fully compare trading models today. We have so much to do. If you're ready, let's start. Welcome our free trading course. Our main focus is price action trading strategies and smart money concepts. If you love scalping and day trading or maybe swing trading and looking for special trading strategies, check out my free trading course. You can find the links on Google Drive or directly from my website, which is in the description. What a crazy weeks we are having. I'll admit it is extremely hard times for day traders. Still, can we trade these charts? Let's talk about it. So after the first fake ETF news, you remember this insane spike, which disturbed the price action a lot. However, at the same time, it gave me a clear trading ideas much later on. First of all, that point turned into previous week high point. So I have noticed the bullish movement towards that previous week high. I already made my trading plans for it. Extremely simple liquidity trading. First taking longs to take out the liquidity and then take shorts after the sweep if it is possible. And I actually took a long and then a short aligning with my plans around these areas. Now switching from 1 hour to 15 minute charts to take a closer look at the price action. Notice this giant imbalance and an extremely strong push upwards. I already understand that the price wants to go up to take out that previous week high. And notice this giant imbalance with the order black. It is like a wall holding the price. Price is bullish, period. After this internal liquidity sweep, the inner structure shifted upwards. Plus, I also have inner liquidity take out. All this pulling the price up. Let's take a closer look at the chart with the 5 minute time frame. First of all, you can notice this inner micro trend which pushes the price upwards with the power of the 15 minute order block and the imbalance. So this special area is the place I took a quick micro scalp. Let's have a deep dive. You can already see the micro trend going up. Notice what happens here. Inner liquidity sweeps with imbalance and price pushes itself up. What is the feel? Liquidity and imbalance. What I basically do here, write the lower time frame structure towards upward. With the next imbalance and the order block, I make the entry. There is nothing complicated here. The combination of imbalance, liquidity, and the structure. When you zoom out, you can see the clear trading setup. Notice the action. Fractals. 15 minute order block with imbalance. And then 5 minute order block and imbalance. How to explain the trade? Let's see. First of all, I have zero care about the structure at all. The only thing I care about is liquidity. Structure is secondary. I'm either riding structure towards liquidity or back from liquidity. I'm riding structure to previous week high here. Price is being pushed by is imbalances above. And I am using microstructure movements to find entries based on imbalance and order blocks. Quite straightforward. So, according to my plans, I was looking to take a short trade right after the previous week high sweep. Simple plan. Let's take a look at what happened here. Price clears the weekly high and shifts the structure right here with giant imbalance. 
I love big imbalances. They show me the intention of the move. Price pushes itself downwards right here. And right before the imbalance, I took my short right here. Why do I have a big stop loss? Because I cashed myself against this BPR here. Price can easily spike up and get extra fuel before the main move. So my main target was this tiny imbalance here, right below this liquidity area. At the end of the day, price never hit my target. It came very close. Then what happened? Yes, another ETF news hit the market. Bitcoin jumped from 30k to 35k in a matter of hours. Good thing I closed the trade hours before this happened. After this point, I actually started to lose my appetite for trading. Because a day trader shall not trade news. We are not FOMO traders. We are consistent price action traders. So after this point, I mostly stopped trading. Because another ETF news could have taken the price up again. If it was just a terrible news, it could have crushed the Bitcoin. What shall you do during these days? Get smaller. If you risk $100 normally, just use $50 of risk for a while until price action fully clears. Remember, protecting the account is much more important than making money. All being said that, I gave up on Bitcoin. Then I noticed a very clear trading setup with Ethereum. This is our classic pattern setup actually if you remember. No logic required here. Very simple pattern based trading. Price makes a market structure shift here after this swing failure pattern. And then price makes another inner swing failure pattern which combined with an imbalance. Basically the inducement. As an extra, we have this giant dragon order block right here. Plus, we have this Asia high. Remember, this session's highs and lows will give you extra confidence for your trading. Let's zoom in this area with a lower time frame and check out the trade. A classic market structure shift happens right here. Notice the 2 minute order block with imbalance. Nowadays, I'm not waiting for deeper pullbacks. I guess price action evolves. Smart money trading has become extremely popular. Classic setups like optimal trade entry works less. So this was the entry. However, I keep my stop losses cushioned as always. Price is very spiky. So I try to cover the unmitigated imbalances as much as possible against sudden spikes. Now this trade actually turned into life-sucking, way too long trade. After waiting for long hours, I just killed the trade somewhere here. With a mediocre profit. I have a life to live, I cannot wait forever. So, I mostly stayed out of trading last week, using small accounts mostly. Now, what is the plan for 2024? Let's talk. First of all, I will still keep trading Bitcoin. Bitcoin is my baby. I will always trade it. But trading mostly Bitcoin makes my trading limited. My plan is to expand my arsenal to Forex. I have been mastering Forex trading for a long time based on Euro and British Pound dollar pairs. I may even try some funded accounts. I already trade options for United Stock Indices and Stocks. I keep options trading limited because it can be extremely dangerous from time to time. Options trading is probably the hardest way of trading in life. Futures or crypto are not even close. Lastly, I need to resolve paying income taxes on Forex. I have noticed that taxes for Forex are quite different from paying regular income taxes in my country. I will need to sort this out. That's it people. Take care of yourself. Stay tuned for the next week. Things will get much better.